A recent Red Cross survey finds that many children and teens cannot perform basic swim skills. SNN's Allison Henning has the story. If she were to go swimming, she, she couldn't. Like, if she went anywhere past her head, it would be a really bad situation. 14-year-old Riley Gilliland is talking about one of her friends. The Red Cross released national survey data showing 61% of children, including more than half of all teens, cannot perform basic swim safety skills. Aquatics coordinator with the Venice YMCA, Amy Johnson, explains some of these essential swim skills that everyone should learn. Knowing how to submerge yourself underwater and come back up, because if, especially if you are not used to being in the water, to being able to pull your head back up to the surface. Learning to float if you get tired so you can go on your back and catch your breath. And just pulling yourself out of a pool, out of a body of water without a ladder, because if you fall in somewhere else, you might not have the stairs and the steps to pull yourself out. If your child or teen cannot perform these five basic swim skills, make sure to find a Coast Guard approved life jacket and help them in securing it before they get in the water. Johnson says the earlier kids are introduced to water, the better. Children, they don't have the innate fear to get into the water to say, put your face underwater. They haven't been scared yet. The survey shows fear as the top reason for not learning how to swim for both children and adults. 14-year-old Riley has some words of encouragement. If you're embarrassed, don't be. And if you're afraid, there's people all around you, there's lifeguards, everyone's supporting you. You can do it if you actually try. Reporting in Venice, Allison Henning, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Aquatics representatives at the Venice YMCA say it's never too late to learn simple swimming skills.